guys and welcome back to my channel it is Caitlin and behind me you can see Kiwi just waking up and coming out of her hide for the afternoon um, I am so happy to have you guys back in my channel and if you are new welcome it's so great to have you don't forget to like this video and click the subscribe button if you like what you see so today I wanted to talk about a little bit of a debatable uh, topic within the reptile community and that is whether or not bearded dragons are beginner reptiles. If you go to a pet store more often than not um, there's a little card by um, wherever the animals are displayed like I know PetSmart and Petco do that and there is um, a little care guide almost on the card and it details whether the reptile is a beginner reptile, an intermediate reptile, or an advanced reptile. For example, um, I know that leopard geckos and crested geckos are most of the time listed as um, beginner reptiles, and I know that um, blue tongue skinks are often detailed as intermediate reptiles, and animals like iguanas and chameleons are listed as advanced. Now, most pet stores advertise bearded dragons as beginner level reptiles, and a lot of people within the reptile community don't think that that's accurate at all. So this video is going to be a few reasons why I do not think that bearded dragons are beginner reptiles. You're watching Caitlin's Critters. The first reason that I don't think that bearded dragons are beginner reptiles is because when they are full grown, they need very large enclosures. Most pet stores say that you only need a 40 gallon tank for a bearded dragon, which could not be farther from the truth. Studies show that bearded dragons need an enclosure size of four feet by two feet by two feet when they are adults. That is roughly 120 gallons, and it will obviously take up a lot of space in your home. Um, beginner reptiles uh, normally have smaller tank sizes. Um, I know that leopard geckos can be kept in 40-gallon tanks for their entire lives, and that is pretty manageable. Kiwi's in a 40-gallon right now, and it's still pretty big, but a 4x2x2 by two by two is coming eventually for her. Um, once I get a few more paychecks in, I'm going to order one. And it is going to take up the entire wall on this room. It's going to be massive. And that leads us into the second point. So with a larger enclosure comes more maintenance. Um, especially if you have a bioactive enclosure. Um, let me know in the comments if you know what a bioactive enclosure is. Um, and if you don't, let me know if you want a video on what bioactive enclosures are. Kiwi is not currently in a bioactive setup, but once I get her into her forever 4x2x2 by two by two tank, I will definitely be looking into making her tank bioactive. And with all of that being said, um, there is so much maintenance with a 4x2x2 by two by two tank because it's so big and you have to keep it clean. Obviously, you want to clean up poops and you want to make sure that your tank decorations are clean, you want to make sure that your plants are thriving. If you have live plants inside of your enclosure, you want to make sure that you're draining the drainage layer. If you have loose substrate and a bioactive enclosure, um, it can all just be so complicated. And even if you have fake plants or just rocks that are in your bearded dragon's enclosure, you have to clean them often because bearded dragons poop on literally everything. And so I have to give Kiwi's tank decor like a scalding hot shower like once a month just to make sure that everything is clean and nice for her. So the third point that I want to make is that bearded dragons do get 
kind of large. Um, an average bearded dragon can be between, um, I would say, 20 and 24 inches. So that is almost a two foot long lizard. And that is a lot bigger than something like, say, a leopard gecko that's this big. Um, so if you know what I mean, um, this just means that they eat more. This means that they obviously need bigger enclosures. Um, it's all just bigger than um, what you would be getting for like a leopard gecko or a crested gecko or a corn snake even. The fourth point that I wanna make is that bearded dragons have a pretty complex diet. Um, so as babies, you want to be feeding them 80% bugs and 20% greens. So um, until your dragon turns about a year old, they will need to eat bugs every day to make sure that they are growing properly and getting the amounts of protein that they need. Adult bearded dragons should be getting bugs two to three times a week. Um, Kiwi gets a staple insect two times a week. And um, every once in a while, I throw in a couple of mealworms or superworms, maybe even a hornworm every once in a while. Um, but her diet consists of mostly salads because she is over a year old, so she is considered an adult. Um, so instead of 80% bugs and 20% greens, it switches. So adult bearded dragons eat 20% bugs and 80% greens. Shockingly enough, some of them are really picky eaters. Kiwi is a very picky eater. Um, there are only a few vegetables that I've found that she will eat. Um, you just really have to experiment and try to find what they like. Um, it can be pretty annoying. It can be kind of a hassle, but um, in the end, it really is worth it. But um, it can be a little bit challenging if you're just a beginner reptile keeper and you really don't know what you're doing. So the next reason that I wanted to talk about is that bearded dragons need kind of a complicated uh, lighting setup and their husbandry can be a little bit tricky to get the hang of. So as you can see, Kiwi has a basking lamp and she has a tube of UVB that runs across two thirds of her enclosure. Um, bearded dragons absolutely need to have both of these things. Lots of people only put their bearded dragons under a basking lamp and um, that is just not good enough. The UVB helps bearded dragons digest their food properly and it helps their bones stay nice and strong. Um, and it has to be a tube. The coil UVB um, really isn't very good for any reptiles if I'm being honest. Um, the coil UVB just does not emit enough and um, some people say that it causes uh, issues with sight, but I have never read any scientific studies talking about that, so that's something that I might need to brush up on a little bit. But I just thought that I would throw that out there in case it is true and you would like to take some extra caution. And bearded dragons live in a dry climate. They are native to Australia, and so it's not humid at all where they live. Um, and so it's really important that you keep the humidity in their enclosure down rather than the humidity in their enclosure up like you would with a crested gecko um, or something along those lines. Um, if your humidity is too high, your bearded dragon could come down with an upper respiratory infection and that would cost a lot of money to treat and to see the vet. And that is not something that a beginner probably wants. Temperatures also need to be um, a little bit different. So the side um, right here that Kiwi is sitting on is her warm side and it is between 115 and 120 degrees. It fluctuates a little bit throughout the day. Um, and this side over here with just her UVB, that is her cool side and it is about 80 degrees most of the time and it is very important to have that temperature gradient because of course bearded dragons are cold-blooded and they cannot regulate their own body temperature so um if they're cold they can bask but if they're too warm they can sit on the cool side and cool off a little bit 
Getting that temperature gradient can be a little bit tricky. It took me forever to get it down and to figure out what kiwi needed personally because it's a little bit different for every dragon. Um, some dragons will have digestive issues if it's not quite hot enough. Um, and that is definitely something that a beginner might not quite understand. All right, so I think that is it for this video. Um, thank you so, so much for watching. Again, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Um, and let me know in the comments if you think that bearded dragons are a beginner reptile and why or why not. So Kiwi and I will see you next time. Goodbye. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Woop 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 wo